Welcome everyone to the University of St. Francis Hutzel Athletic Center for a Crossroads League matchup today against the Grace Lancers out of Winona Lake to take on your Lady Cougars. Lady Cougars entering with a 17-0, 5-0 conference record. The Grace Lady Lancers at 7-10, 3-2. The Lady Cougars will be playing their third straight game without the services of the Crossroads League's leading scorer, Akaya Taylor. Undisclosed health issues, but in her absence, Kayla Bear, Janelle Wilson, Brooke Ridley, Skylar Schurn have certainly picked up the scoring. Skylar Schur with a career high 37 points just a week ago at Goshen. As we get ready to tip off in the circle, is Brooke Ridley. Number 34 was Allison Kaufman who tipped that ball out to the point guard. Number 11 for Grace, Gabby Bryant. Johnny's Jackson wears number 13. She is the third leading scorer in the Crossroads League behind Akaya Taylor and Skylar Schoen. As the jumper is up, rebounded by number 34, Kaufman. Bryant over to number 24, that's Patton. Bryant over to Johnny's Jackson. Out on the wing, being guarded by Frisch. Bryant's pass now goes to Kaufman. Good defense by Brooke Ridley. This is rebound by Kayla Bear. Skylar Schoen bringing it up now for the Lady Cougars. Skylar working against Bryant, going straight to the hole a little bit hard. Rebounded by Patton. Patton now over to Bryant. Back over to Patton. Johnny Jackson up top being guarded by Paige Frisch. Drives the lane hard off the glass. Gets a friendly roll as Grace goes up. Two to nothing. Skylar Schoen once again averaging 19.8 points per game. That's second best in the Crossroads League. Johnny Jackson averages 19. The three-pointer by Paige Frisch is just off the mark. That was Patton with the rebound. Now Bryant's pass to Kaufman is knocked out of bounds by number three, Brooke Ridley. Brooke's having another fantastic season here in her sophomore year. Brooke already with five double-doubles on the season. Three-pointer for the Lady Lancers go up five, nothing. Shern over to Paige Frisch, back to Skyler. We have a box and one zone defense. As a three-pointer is good by Frisch, bringing the Cougars to within two here, two minutes into this game. Bryant calling the signals, gets it over to Patton. Patton looking to go over to the elbow where Allison Kaufman was waiting. Kaufman is a junior at six foot from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Blackhawk Christian High School turnover by the Lady Lancers. Skylar Schoen running the point for coach Gary Andrews, who is in his 13th season with St. Francis. Cross court pass goes over to Janelle Wilson from the corner, three pointer off the heel, rebounded by Jackson. Jackson kicks it over to number 24, Patton. Her long three pointer is no good, rebounded by Schoen. Skylar Schoen regarded as one of the fastest players in the NAIA, hard to keep up with. Once again, 37 a week ago. Paige Frisch, another three-point attempt. Off the iron, rebounded by Kaufman. Bryant bringing it up for the Lancers. Looking in the middle for Schaefer. That's Lindsey Schaefer, turnaround jumper. Rims in for number 11, Gabby Bryant, a sophomore at 5'5". Five five. She's from Indianapolis, Indiana, Heritage Christian High School. Skylar Schoen, top of the key, finds Wilson far wing. Paige Frisch, near wing. It's Kayla Bear. Comes up to the free throw line, pick set by Bear. Janelle Wilson eyes the three, rims out, rebounded by Jackson. Johnny Jackson last year, a second team All-American, along with last year's Kayla Drake, who was a senior, drives to the hole, gets the lay-in. So Johnny Jackson now with seven points, grace up nine to three. Folks, this is game one of a doubleheader. Game two will feature Coach Chad LaCrosse and the men's basketball team taking on these same Lancers. Nice hook shot by Kayla Barris. She gets her first bucket of the game, pulling St. Francis to within four. Gabby Bryant over to Patton. 
Finds Kaufman. Kaufman was able to get away from Skylar Schoen, who was looking for the steal. Skylar, one of the best in the Crossroads League. Nice defense there by Kayla Bear, forcing the turnover. Janelle Wilson now working from the corner. Cross coat goes to go. Paige Frisch finds Skylar Schoen in the corner. Schoen's going to go inside to Brooke Ridley, who fights hard in the block to get her first bucket of the game. Brooks really, and along with Kayla Bear, really going to pick up some of the rebounding that's missed with Akaya Taylor on the bench. Quick pass to Kaufman, not ready for it as another turnover by the Lady Lancers, up by two. Janelle Wilson back over to Kayla Bear, who's running the top of the point. Feed goes inside once again to Brooke Ridley as she is triple teamed. Skylar Schoen now for a three from the corner. Hits the back of the rim. And that's going to be knocked out of bounds by number 42, Lindsey Schaefer, who is a junior at 5'11". She's from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Carroll High School. We have our first timeout, media timeout here with 15-14 left to play in the first half. Folks, be sure to visit DaxStats.com for live stats of today's game. We have links to Dax Stats at stfranciscougars.com. Following today's broadcast, we will next be in action this Wednesday when the women's basketball team hosts Spring Arbor. 7 p.m. start. Your Lady Cougars, number one in the Crossroads League, number one in the country with a 17-0, 5-0 record. Beat Indiana Wesleyan earlier this year, 85 to 76. Wesleyan is the number five ranked team in the country, four and one in the Crossroads League, 14 and three. Overall, Huntington University ranked number 22 in the country, 12 and four. Overall, four and one in the CL. Spring Arbor, who will be St. Francis' next opponent this Wednesday, nine and seven overall, three and two in the Crossroads League. Other action today, in the Crossroads League, we have Mount Vernon at Indiana Wesleyan, Huntington at Goshen, Spring Arbor at Taylor, Marion at Bethel. Those are all 1 p.m. starts. Skylar Shern goes up top to Janelle Wilson, back to Shern, back to Janelle, top of the key. Zone defense still. Many teams do play a zone against St. Francis because of the athleticism. Janelle Wilson over to Brooke Ridley. Kicks it out to Taylor Wilson from the corner. Three-pointer no good. Rebounded by Schaefer. Bryant bringing it up now for the Lady Lancers. Patton over to John H. Jackson being guarded by Taylor Wilson. The true freshman does play good defense for Coach Andrews. Looks like that ball was tipped possibly by Kayla Bear. Out of bounds, so possession will stay with Grace with 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Quick feed, goes back to Bryant. Johnny Jackson working out of the corner, driving. Looks like we got a travel. Nope, foul's going to be called before the travel. And it's going to go against number 11, Taylor Wilson. It's her first and the team's first. Bryant with the inbounds pass. Up to Patton, back to Bryant. Driving in the lane. Jumper from about six feet out is good as... Grace extends their lead to 11. Skyla Schoen working from the wing, pick set by Kayla Bear, gets it over to Janelle, pops it back out to Brooke Ridley, baseline jumper is long, but Kayla Bear's there to put back the mess. Kayla Bear with her fourth point of the game. Kayla has really picked up her scoring with the absence of Akaya Taylor. Entering this game, Kayla Bear averaging 8.4 points per game as we have another turnover by the Lady Lancers. That's one thing the Cougar basketball team does excel in, getting steals and creating turnovers for now for the Lady Lancers. Janelle Wilson back over to Skylar Schoen just inside the arc. Rims out, rebounded by Schaefer. Taylor Wilson knocked it away, but Johnny Jackson was there to pick up the loose ball. She's going to go back to Schaefer as... Bryant's going to bring it up just over half court. Picked up by Taylor Wilson. Looks like the Cougars here in a 3-2 zone. John Ace Jackson over to Bryant near wing. Skylar Sharon with some 
find the defense. Back over to John East, long three-pointer, and it's good. Nothing but the back of the iron. Grace up now, 14 to nine. You know, in the last two games, wins against Goshen and Bethel, been tough first half, but in the second half, Brooke Ridley and Skylar Shearn really been pouring it on to help extend the lead and get the Cougars to 5-0, 17-0 overall, which is the best start in the program's history. 4-3 is Patton, and she nails it. Grace is on fire here. Eight minutes into this game and up by eight, 17-9. Brooke Ridley from the wing back over to Skyler. Janelle Wilson far, looking down low for Kayla Bear. Now it's Skyler Shern working against John East Jackson. Seven seconds on the shot clock as Janelle Wilson goes hard. Loose ball picked up by Kayla Bear. Could not get that one to fall. Schaefer picks up the board. Bryant now cross court to John East. Looked at the three as Skylar Shern darted out of from the top of the key to supply some defense. Rebounded by Bear. Skylar now going hard to the hoop. Gets the bucket for Skylar. That is her first bucket of the game, pulling St. Francis to within six. Bryant over to Jackson. Jackson to Patton working out of the corner. Bryant launches a long three-pointer and it's good. Three consecutive three-pointers for the Lady Lancers. John East Jackson, Patton, and Bryant hitting them, giving Grace a nine-point advantage. On the top of the key is Skylar Shern as she launches the three. Rims out, rebounded by Brooke Ridley, and she gets the put back. Beautiful play. Brooke now with four points in this game, bringing St. Francis to within seven. Bryant goes back to, that was Kaufman, Allison Kaufman, the junior, who launched a three-pointer. Figured, heck, we're hot, might as well give it a shot. And we have a bunch of substitutes coming in this game, leaving the game for Grace is Bryant. Schaefer and Patton into the game. Number 21, Joellen Fickle. Number 24, excuse me, Darlene Patton just left. Number 13 is, that's John East Jackson. Excuse me, number 23 into the game is Darlene Morris. In for St. Francis, Emily Montgomery for three, just misses. Also, Jessica Harrison into the lineup for the Lady Cougars. John East Jackson driving, kicks it out to number 21, Fickle. Fickle goes up top to Kelsey Sewell. Excuse me, that was number 32. Nice block by Ridley. Picking up the loose ball was Fickle. Gets a quick putback. Timeout by Coach Gary Andrews here with 10-13. Left to play. Looks like Kayla Bear is going to check back in for the Lady Cougars. Down right now by nine. St. Francis shooting 31% from the field. Grace a blistering 54% and 67% from behind the arc. Grace has hit four of six three-pointers. Johnny Jackson leads all scores with 10. Kayla Bear with four leads St. Francis. Bear has three rebounds as well to lead the Lady Cougars. So Montgomery's inbounds pass goes to Skylar Schoen. Skylar's pass intended for Janelle Wilson knocked out of bounds by Darian Morris, a freshman 5'3 guard out of Maryville, Indiana, Maryville High School. Skylar picked up by Morris, kicks it out to Janelle. Three-point attempt from the corner is long. Rebounded by number 32, Sarah Feesby. John East Jackson gets walled off. Long jumper from 18 feet is good. Jackson now with a game-high 12 points. Skylar Schoen drives all the way to the bucket. She's going to be fouled. 
Looks like it's gonna go on Joe Ellen. Fickle number 21, that's her first and the team's first. Scott Assurance for his free throw attempt is up and in. Scholar so far in this game, one of five from the field. Zero for two from behind the arc. Hits her first free throw. She's one of the best free throw shooters at 79% in the Crossroads League. Hits them both, she now has four points in this game. Morris picked up by Schoen. Looking for Jackson, pass was a little bit outside. Turnover by Lady Lancers, Johnny Jackson saying my bad on that one. So it looks like she was maybe supposed to come out. Good defense by Janelle Wilson. Janelle all alone in the corner for three. Nails it. So Janelle Wilson gets her first three-pointer of the game. Cougars now two of 12 from beyond the arc. Morris, that pass was knocked away by number 15, Emily Montgomery. Pass intended for Sarah Feesby. Feesby gets it in to Fickle. Fickle over to Morris. Defended by Skylar Sharon Cougar switching to a man-to-man -man defense. Johnny's Jackson covered by Janelle. Good help defense by Brooke Ridley. That's Montgomery and Janelle Wilson both in the vicinity as the pass goes over to Morris with two seconds on the shot clock. Cannot get the lay in, and they're going to say she stepped on the baseline. Another turnover by the Lady Lancers. That is Coach Scott Blum in his 10th season down on the sidelines talking with the ref. We have 8.30 to play here in this game. Insurance pass over to Brooke, over to Janelle. Cross court to Emily Montgomery, launches the three. It's good. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Emily Montgomery as she gets her first bucket of the game, pulling the Cougars within three. Janelle Wilson with the sixth. Morris picked up right at half court by Skylar Shern. Shern, she's one of the best in the CL in steals. Johnny's Jackson launching the three, and she is in fuego. John East Jackson now three for three from beyond the arc. She has 15 points. Lady Lancers came out to play here today. They are hot shooting from the field. Nice drive. Split defenders was Janelle Wilson. She now has five points. Cougars once again within four. Morris crossing half court. Her pass goes over to number 34, Kaufman. Pick set by Fickle. Fickle receives the pass, gives it back to Sarah Feesby. Nice rebound by Kayla Bear. Brooke Ridley bringing it up for St. Francis, gives it back over to Skylar Shern. Pick set by Kayla Bear over to Emily Montgomery. Janelle Wilson from the corner for three, hit her last three pointer. And that ball is knocked out of bounds by Montgomery. Number 15 is Emily Montgomery. She is a transfer. She's a junior from Vincennes, Indiana. Went to Rivet High School. Transferred to us from Danville Community College. So we have a timeout here with seven minutes to play. Media timeout. Grace up 27 to 23. Grace so far 11 of 21 from the field, shooting 52%. Cougars 9 of 21, or 24, excuse me, shooting 38%. From beyond the arc, the Cougars are 3 of 14, 21%. Grace 5 of 7, shooting 71%. Grace is also out rebounding the Cougars 17 to 8. Grace has six turnovers, St. Francis zero. Cougars have two steals. Grace with zero. Johnny Jackson leads all scores with 15 points. Janelle Wilson leads St. Francis with five. Right behind her, Kayla Bear and Skylar Shern, Brooke Ridley, they all have four. On the floor for the Cougars, 
Skylar Shearn, Mallory Hester into the lineup now. Janelle Wilson, Brooke Ridley, and Emily Montgomery. That's Morris bringing it up for the Lady Lancers. Hands it off to Jackson. Jackson over to number 34, Kaufman. Number 32, Feesby, walled off by Montgomery. Jackson with another three-point attempt. No good, rebounded by Ridley. Bringing it up will be Emily Montgomery for St. Francis. Find Chanel Wilson once again in the corner. It's like a 3-2 zone right now for the Lady Lancers. Skyler gets it over to Brooke. Brooke driving in the lane looking for the hook shot. She is fouled by Kaufman. Looks like the foul's gonna go actually on number 23, Morris, the freshman. So Daria Morris with her first foul. Grace with her their second team foul. Shot is up and in by Brooke Ridley. She now has five points in this game. Entering this game, Brooke is shooting 67% from the free throw line, hitting 53 of 79 free throws. Second is good as well. Cougars now pull to within two with six minutes and 15 seconds left to play. Kaufman looked at the three pointer. She's already 0 for 1 in this game. They say that ball was knocked out of bounds by Brooke Ridley. She did not agree. Gary Andrews reiterates that sentiment. Kaufman just inside the arc. Rims out, nice rebound by Fickle. But the jumper is good. By number 21, Fickle. That is her fourth point of the game, extending Grace lead to four points. Montgomery back to Shern. Over to Ridley. Out to Janelle Wilson. Janelle now working from the wing. She finds Brooke on the baseline. Kaufman with the defense. That's Bryant with the defense. Feed goes down low to Mallory Hester with her first points of the game. Mallory entering this game averaging 6.8 minutes played per and 2.4 points. Mallory just recently rejoined the team. She did not make the trip to Bethel as she was battling an illness starting the season. Nice rebound by Hester. Mallory started the season with an injury, but Nice to get her back into the lineup. A five foot, 10 inch, very athletic wing player for Coach Andrews. Wilson picks set by Ridley. Had her shot blocked by number 21, Joe Ellen Fickle. Now we got a foul on Bryant, Gabby Bryant. Her first, the team's third. So Montgomery's inbounds pass. Goes over to Skyler. Janelle back to Skyler. Skyler top of the key, pick set. Just inside the arc. Skyler's jumper's no good. Rebounded by Kaufman. Bryant bringing it up for the Lady Lancers. Has Fickle in the lane. Good recovery defense by Mallory Hester. Another turnover for the Lancers as Bryant was looking for Morris. Paige Frisch. Entering the game for a fatigued Montgomery. This is Paige Frisch, a true freshman from Norwell, starting this game. Skylar Shearn, top of the key, gets it over to Mallory Hester. Janelle Wilson driving from the corner, kicks it out to Brooke Ridley, looking to split defenders. She's fouled, will head to the free throw line. Foul gonna be called on number 24, Morris, Darian Morris. Or excuse me, Darian Patton. So Brooke Ridley once again at the free throw line. She is two of two already in this game. Hits her third. Two of three from the field. She now has seven points. Cougars pull within one. Second is good as well, and we are tied at 29. Press now by Skylar Shearn. She walls off Bryant before she could get over half court. Pass went to Kaufman. Kaufman double team. Brooke Ridley with the defense. All alone in the lane was Fickle, but Kaufman did not see her. Bryant behind the arc. Good defense by Hester. Kaufman out the free throw line. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Trying to back down Brooke Ridley. Foul going to be called on Brooke. 
as it looked like she had slapped her arm. Brooks calling for the travel. So to our few of the Cougar faithful here at the hut. So Allison Kaufman at the free throw line hits her first. Kaufman is the team's second leading scorer at 15.2 points per game. She is shooting 78% from the free throw line. Heck of a player, Coach Blum. Mallory Hester gonna lead this game. Kayla Bear back in for St. Francis. Four minutes left to play before the break. Cougars down by two. They've been down the majority of this game, thanks in part to the hot three-point shooting by, and the three-pointer is good by Janelle Wilson. Janelle now with eight points in this game. Quick pass to number 42, Lindsey Schaefer, catching the Cougars napping just a bit as she gives Grace the lead back, 33-32. Lady Lancers have been hot from beyond the arc. They've hit five of eight. Steal by John East Jackson, looking to finish at the other end. Contested by Skylar Shearn. She gets her own rebound. Paige Frisch gets her second attempt. Frisch near a double-double there, picking up the loose ball. Skylar Shearn, we got a blocking foul. Gonna be called on number 24, Patton. Patton, that is her second foul. And the team's fifth. And they are gonna give Skylar Shearn the bucket. So she's looking to complete the three point play here. Skylar two for two from the free throw line in this game now, two of seven from the field. Bear back out of the lineup, Jessica Harrison in for Kayla Bear. Skylar Sheridan completes the three-point play. She now has seven points in this game. St. Francis up 35-33. Bryant over half court. Picked up by Skylar Sheridan. Cougars in a man-to-man. -man. Janelle Wilson working against John East Jackson. Morris battling against Frisch. Frisch, or Morris, excuse me, opted not to take the screen. Jumper just inside the arc by John East Jackson. Once again, she gets her own rebound. Quick pass out to Bryant for three. That one rims out. Ridley gets the rebound and she is fouled by Kaufman. Tough, tough play there underneath. Brooke was calling for the foul and she eventually got it. Can't say enough about Brooke Ridley. What a, Brooke Ridley, excuse me. What a savvy basketball player number three is from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Bishop Lures High School. That's Brooke Ridley. Paige Frisch, cross court, finds Chanel Wilson in the corner. She receives the pass and takes off. Jessica Harrison, wow! What a shot by Jessica Harrison from eight feet out. That was pretty. Her first bucket of the game. Cougars up now by four, 37 to 33. Jessica Harrison, wow, did she shine in the national tournament a year ago. Johnny Jackson gives it up. Skylar Stern all alone, uncontested, coast to coast lay in. Skyler now with nine points in this game. Cougars up by six, 39-33. Bryant over half court. Hands it off to Morris. Morris around the arc, gives it up to number 21. That's Fickle. Had that shot blocked by Brooke Ridley. Brooke last year averaged, I believe it was three blocks a game. She had 100 on the season. Paige Frisch for three, and it's good. The Cougars have been on fire. Up now 42 to 33. Paige Frisch with six points. Cougars started off this game one of 11 from beyond the arc. Now the Cougars are five of 16. Bryant, and it looks like we have an off the ball foul. Gonna be called on number 10, Skylar Schoen. Her first and the team's fourth. Bryant with the inbounds pass for Grace. Bryant kicks it out to number 42, Schaefer. Off the heel, long rebound as Schaefer tracks it down. Good hustle play and a heads up call there calling the timeout. That's Lindsey Schaefer, the junior from Fort Wayne, Indiana. 
Carroll High School. Lindsey Schaefer averages 11.3 minutes per game. She's only played in six games this season, starting two. She's a nice player for the Lady Lancers, averaging 2.2 points per game. So Lindsey Schaefer certainly will be helping Grace here in the second half of the season as she's just now getting her legs underneath her, having to miss what looks to be the uh, beginning of the season, I assume, due to injury. Uh, I do not have that information for you. I do apologize, but I can tell you that she has played in six games entering today's game and has started two. Morris now with the inbounds pass for Grace. Gets it up to Bryant. Bryant being guarded. Double team now by Paige Frisch and Skylar Sherman. They got a walled off there near half court. Number 21, Fickle. Finds Morris from the corner. Rims out. Johnny's Jackson with the rebound. She loses the ball. Turnover goes to St. Francis. Paige Frisch gets it into Skylar Sherman as we are inside a minute until the break. Skyler over to Janelle, working from the wing. Defense by Bryant. 3-2 zone still by the Lady Lancers. Cougars working the perimeter as Janelle Wilson comes up from the corner. That's Skyler Shearn, Brooke Ridley. Three-pointer by Janelle Wilson, rims out. Morris with the rebound. Jessica Harrison looked like a clean pick, but they're gonna call the foul on number 45. That's her first and the team's fourth. Taylor Wilson back into this game for Skylar Sherman with 34 seconds left to play before the break. Taylor in the backcourt. She's going to pick up Bryant. Taylor Wilson, great defender here as a true freshman. Just right from the get-go, Coach Andrews knew that he could trust Taylor Wilson and Paige Frisch. Bryant now driving in the lane. Runner, no good. Rebounded by Schaefer. And we got a foul going to be called on Frisch. Fans at the hut not liking that call. Emily Montgomery about to check back in here as we have 12.9 minutes left until the break. Schaefer at the free throw line. Her first is up and in. Lindsey Schaefer entering this game, hitting 50%, one of two from the free throw line. Hits her first here. Schaefer is a very, very good looking player here. And uh, rest assured you can believe that the Lady Lancers are gonna be a little bit more of a force here in the Crossroads League as we get to the second half of the season. Janelle Wilson over to Emily Montgomery. Looks like Coach Andrews wants a three point attempt here before the break, loose ball, and it's a jump ball. Skylar Schoen, Janelle Wilson, Emily Montgomery all converging on number 24. Darian Patton. Kayla Bear back into the lineup for St. Francis. She is in for Montgomery. So Janelle Wilson inbounds pass with two seconds left to play before the half. Skylar Sherman launches a long three. No good, rebounded by Brooke Ridley. So we head into halftime, Cooper's up. 35. Folks, we're going to take a 10 minute break. We'll be back with you with five minutes left to go until the start of the second half.
Welcome back everyone to the Hutzel Athletic Center as we are four and a half minutes away to the start of the second half. Lady Cougars up 42-35. They were able to weather the storm of a blistering start to the game by the Grace Lady Lancers as they were in fuego from beyond the arc. I believe they started off the game five of seven. They are now five of 10 hitting 50%, but at one point Grace was over 70% from the three-point line. Whether it was Johnny's Jackson hitting them, she is right now three of four. Gabby Bryant, one of two. Darian Patton, one of three. At one point, all three of those young ladies hit consecutive three-pointers, and Grace found themselves up by nine points. I believe it was 29 to 20. Wow, the Lady Lancers sure did come to play today and they're getting very good play from number 42 Lindsay Schaefer the junior from Fort Wayne Indiana Carroll High School entering today Schaefer had only played in six games she started two but I'm telling you she has been a force so far for the Lady Lancers and their coach Scott Blum Lady Cougars in the first half shooting 44 percent from the field 15 of 34 28% from beyond the arc, 5 of 18. A perfect 100% from the free throw line. They've hit 7 of 7. St. Francis with 14 rebounds, 9 assists, 3 steals, 2 turnovers, 3 blocks, 5 team fouls, all in the first half. Lady Cougars, 7 points off the bench, 14 points in the paint, 4 second chance points, and 12 points off turnovers. Lady Lancers, Shot 13 of 34 from the field, 38%. 5 of 10 from beyond the arc, 100% from the free throw line, 4 of 4. They've had 26 rebounds, 11 offensive, and 15 defensive. 4 assists, 2 steals, 9 turnovers, which was kind of their Achilles heel there in the first half. But I'm sure as almost any coach will tell you that has played a Coach Gary Andrews coach team, that the Lady Cougars get after it. Creating steals, forcing turnovers. One block for the Lady Lancers, 16 fouls, four points off the bench, 14 points from the paint, eight second, hit, second chance points for Grace. Looks like the Taylor women's basketball team is on top of Spring Arbor, 31 to 21 at the half. Dagan Cobb and Wood with 13 points off the bench for Taylor. Wow, impressive. And that's all we have for the updates from our Twitter feed. One more, Indiana Wesleyan leads Mount Vernon Naz 43 to 18. Taylor Gosher has a game high, 21 points. She's a good one for Coach Steve Brooks. Speaking of Coach Brooks, he and Coach Andrews right now currently amongst the top 25 Division II women's basketball winningest active coaches. Heading into the season, Coach Brooks, through 14 seasons, had won 387 games, lost 110 for a 78 or 779 winning percentage. Coach Gary Andrews, at number 21, through 12 seasons, had 259 wins, 191 losses, 662 winning percentage. The Crossroads League well represented here in the NAIA D2 women's basketball winning as active coaches. And it's really pretty neat to see because Coach Brooks with 14 seasons and Coach Andrews with 12. Um, if we look at the top coaches, Gary Smith from Grandview, 37 seasons. Lonnie Cruz from Sterling, 32 seasons. Lori Culler from Huntington, 27 seasons. Uh, you get my point. Back to the action. Inbounds pass goes to Bryant. Over to Schaefer, over to John H. Jackson. Pick set by Kaufman. Kaufman receives the pass from Bryant working from the wing. Handoff goes to Jackson being guarded by Janelle Wilson. That was 
Nice help defense there by Skylar Sherman, but they're going to call the foul on number 25, Janelle Wilson. Janelle Wilson, her play on the court speaks for itself. Entering today, she has 1,318 career points. She needs 77 points to move up to number 13, passing. Oh, excuse me, that was Scotty Cohn. <laughs> Shot by Johnny Jackson off the mark, rebounded by Schaefer. Her putback is no good. That was number 24 called with the foul. Darian Patton the charge after she got that rebound. So excuse me folks, I picked up the wrong piece of paper. It's Janelle Wilson, she needs 66 points to join the University of St. Francis 1,000 point list. She has 934 points entering this game. She has eight points now, 942. It's Janelle Wilson from Ossian, Indiana, Norwell High School. Back to Paige Frisch. Finds Brooke Ridley at the free throw line just inside 15 feet. Kicks it back out to Frisch for three. Paige Frisch now with nine points in this game. Paige is now three of five from beyond the arc. Three of five from the field. Paige Fritch. Brooke Ridley got the assist. John Neese Jackson being guarded by Wilson. Tries to get past her. Pulls up for the 12-footer. No good. Rebounded by Kayla Bear. Now in transition. The outlet pass went to Janelle Wilson. Looking to finish. She gets the lay-in. Janelle has 10 points now. That's a team high. Cougars up by 12. Jackson back to Bryant. As Skylar Shearn toiled with the press. Quickly retreats back. Bryant just inside the arc. Nice block by Skylar Shearn. Gets the loose ball. Skylar bringing it up. As Schaefer turns around, pass goes out to Janelle Wilson. Nearly picked off there by Jackson. Shearn picks up by Kayla Bear. And wow, Jackson does a good job of getting a hand in there and getting the steal. Converts at the other end. Jackson now with the game high 17 points. Skylar Shearn looking, ran right into Kayla Barris. Kayla was there to set up the pick. Three-pointer by Paige Frisch, and now Frisch is on fire. With her fourth three-pointer of the game, she now has 12 points. Chanel with the assist. Cougars up 50 to 37. That is Patton driving from the wing, kicks it back out to Kaufman. The long jumper's no good. Patton got the rebound, put back no good, rebounded by Kayla Bear. Shern just over half court, looking down low for Brooke Ridley. As the Lady Lancers converged on Brooke. Grace has been in the zone all game long, 3-2. Just inside the free throw line, beautiful jumper by Brooke Ridley, her 10th point of the game. Cougars have started the second half here, on fire lead it, 52-37. Janelle Wilson with 10 points, Brooke Ridley with 10 points, Paige Frisch with 12. St. Francis leaders so far in this game. Folks, once again, 3 p.m. tip off. You can see the Cougar men's basketball team take on the Grace Lancers. St. Francis coming off a huge come from behind victory at Bethel, number four ranked Bethel. Your Cougars this week move from number 16 to number 14 in the national rankings. St. Francis already with three wins on the season against, <coughs> excuse me, top five ranked opponents. St. Francis has already beat Cardinal Stritch who was ranked number one at the time back on November the 9th. 64-53, then traveled to Marion, Indiana and beat Indiana Wesleyan at their place. They were ranked number two at the time, 72-63. And then this past Wednesday at Bethel, number four ranked Bethel, beat them 79-62. And that's after being that down uh, kind of big at the half. So great coaching there by Chad LaCrosse and assistant coach Luke Cummings, really guiding their team to the victory in Mishawaka just a few days ago. Long jumper was no good by Schaefer. Skylar Schoen bringing it the other direction.
Skyler over to Janelle. To Frisch for three from the wing. Paige Frisch, her fifth three-pointer of the game, her 15th point. She is feeling it. It may be cool outside, but she is warming up the hut. Kaufman, nice defense by Brooke Ridley. Held that ball for about four seconds. Gave it up to Bryant. Bryant going around the world. Kicks it out to Patton for three. As Darian Patton drains her second three-pointer. She now has six points in this game. Janelle Wilson. Kayla Bear back out to Paige Frisch. Down low to Kayla Bear. Nice spin move. Kayla Bear walling off Schaefer. Gets her sixth point of the game. Nice play in the block there by Kayla Bear. Schaefer now trying to do the same. Splits defenders. Pretty little lay in there by number 42, Lindsey Schaefer. She gets her sixth point of the game. Pulling Grace to within 15. Pick set by Kayla Bear. Pass goes to Janelle Wilson. Finds Frisch all alone in the corner. Just a little bit long. Rebounded by Schaefer. Brooke was in the area as well. Patton gives it up to Bryant. Bryant crosses half court. Looks like Jessica Harrison about to check in for St. Francis. Driving from the wing is John H. Jackson. Foul's going to be called at number 25, Janelle Wilson. Back to Janelle Wilson. She needs 36 rebounds to move up to number 12 on USF's career rebounding list. Patton with a short jumper gets it off the glass. Call him the bank. Eight points in this game for Patton. Lancers within 13. Picks that by Jessica Harrison. Pass goes over to Janelle. Nice feed to Brooke Ridley working from the baseline. No good. Gets her own rebound. Ball is knocked away, I believe, by Kaufman. Now Patton over to Jackson. Jackson pulls up. From 18, rims out, rebounded by Jessica Harrison. Janelle Wilson looking for Skylar Shern as Janelle's gonna pull up, kick it out to Brooke Ridley. Brooke Ridley drives the lane, gives it up to Harrison. For three is Janelle off the heel, rebounded by Brooke with the putback. Brooke with some celebration afterwards as she's been working hard, gets her 12th point of the game. Brooke last time down. Got her own rebound and then had the ball knocked away by Kaufman. She's been battling hard there in the low post as Grace, I'm very impressed with their low post players, Kaufman and Schaefer, and Johnny's Jackson play speaks for itself. Pass goes over to Patton, been guarded by Fresh Feet, down low to Schaefer. Reverse lane is up and in for number 42, the junior. She's from nearby Carroll High School here in Fort Wayne. Carroll, what a fantastic school they have. They just excel in so many sports. Coach, or a Dan Ginder, athletic director. Great, great job over there at Carroll High School, which will soon become one of the largest high schools in the state of Indiana. Janelle Wilson over to Brooke Ridley, baseline. Jumper off the back of the yard. Brooke, that was beautiful. 14 points. She now has in this game, Cougars up 61 46. Schaefer in the paint. Looks like they might call a foul, number 45, Harrison. Schaefer will shoot two. That's Jessica's second foul, team's third here in the second half. Lindsey Schaefer is two of two from the free throw line in this game as that one runs out. She is four of seven from the field. Taylor Wilson to come in for Paige Frisch. The smoking hot from beyond the arc, Paige Frisch. Five of eight. She has 15 points. Schaefer hits her second free throw. She's now three of four from the charity stripe. Schaefer's gonna take a breather in for her is number 21, Joellen Fickle. 
Also into the lineup is Sarah Feesby, number 32. Johnny's Jackson on Janelle Wilson. Wilson cuts off back over to Shern. Janelle to her sister. Taylor Wilson for a three, and she hits it. Taylor with her first bucket of the game. It's a big one. Cougars up 64-47. As Kaufman kicks it out to Feesby. Over to Bryant. Bryant being guarded by Taylor. Cougars in a man-to-man. -man. Three point attempt by Kaufman's no good. Rebounded by Harrison. We have a jump ball. It was Harrison and Feesby, number 32. Sarah Feesby is a sophomore, 5'10 guard from Payne, Ohio, Wayne Trace. Joellen Fickle is a six foot forward, a sophomore from Oakwood, Ohio, Wayne Trace. Wow, they both played at the same high school. They had to have a good team there at Wayne Trace. Janelle Wilson picks up her dribble, finds Taylor. Taylor hit a three-pointer just moments ago. Skylar Shern over to Brooke Ridley. Ridley looking for Jessica. Pass was just a little bit high. Turnover by St. Francis. Bryant kicks it out to Kaufman. Kaufman driving hard. Gets the bucket and is going to head to the line. Slap on the arm. Foul is called. I think that was Brooke Ridley that called it on. It is Brooke, really. That'll be her second. Team's fourth. Number 34. Kaufman gets her fifth point of the game. Skylar Sharon over to Janelle. Brooke Ridley has her pass stolen by Jackson. Johnny's Jackson can just straight up do everything on the floor. Being guarded by Skylar Sheridan. What a matchup that is. Skylar Sheridan and Johnny's Jackson. You arguably have the two best players in the Crossroads League there guarding each other. Johnny's put up a long three pointer, looked like from about 23 feet. Air ball. Skylar Sheridan bringing it up as we are eight and a half minutes into the second half here. Cougars looking to stay perfect on the season. A record start to the season for the University of St. Francis. Popping out from underneath the buck and that was Ridley her 16th point of the game. Cougars up by 16. Taylor Wilson on Bryant. Bryant's pass, a little sloppy there. Over and back's gonna be called as Kaufman was hustling after that one. Mallory Hester is going to check back in along with Kayla Bear. Jessica Harrison and Brooke Ridley leave the game. Janelle Wilson driving in the paint. Finds Skylar Shurn just inside the arc. Rims out. Rebounded by Feesby. Feesby over Fickle. Bryant crosses half court. Looks like the Cougars now in his own defense, 3-2. As the pass finds Johnny Jackson alone in the corner, she's cooled off a little bit as she started off this game hot from beyond the arc. Kaufman now going up hard, and she's going to be fouled. Janelle Wilson looking like uh, she didn't agree with the ref. Nonetheless, Janelle to get her third foul in the team's fifth. Kaufman back at the line. Last time out, St. Francis beat Bethel 81 to 68. They scored 36 in the first half and 45 in the second half. Leading the team against Bethel was Skylar Sherman with 23 points. Kaufman with six points, gets her seventh as Grace pulls to within 14. Bree Reinhardt into the game now for St. Francis. Schoen over half court. Over to Reinhardt, back to Schoen. Scholar to Mallory Hester, Bree from the corner. Bree will shoot that three 
ball. Nice feed, Taylor Bear finishing underneath her eighth point of the game. And we've talked about the absence of Akai Taylor and Kayla Bear has really picked up her scoring to help in the absence of the Crossroads League's leading scorer. Fickle from the elbow, rims out, knocked out of bounds. Possession will go to Grace. Into the game for the first time for the Lady Lancers is number 40, Tiffany Petro, sophomore at 6'2". She's from Swazi, Indiana, Oak Hill High School. Nice drive off the heel, Scholar Stearns pass, and Taylor Wilson got the ball and got hit hard by Fickle as both players were going after it. Taylor hit the floor a little bit hard, but she's probably as tough a freshman as you're ever gonna find is Taylor Wilson. You almost have to be when Janelle's your older sister. Janelle the senior, Taylor the freshman. Uh, Janelle, there's nothing soft about her either. Pass goes over to Bree. Bree goes down to Mallory Hester. Hester picks up her dribble, steps on the baseline, turnover for St. Francis. Lady Cougars now with seven turnovers in this game. So into the lineup also for Grace, that's Morris, number 23. Fickles pass, no look to Morris underneath. That was a pretty looking pass by number 21. Darian Morris. Heading to the free throw line. Cougars now with 16 fouls. Is that foul is called on Kayla Bear. Morris misses her first free throw attempt. She's 0 for 1 from the field, 0 for 1 from the free throw line. She has two rebounds. Paige Frisch back into the lineup. Mallory Hester and Taylor Wilson leave. Brooke Ridley back in. Morris second free throw attempt off the back of the iron. She hits her first point of the game. Cougars up by 15, 9.25 left in the game. Skylar Sherman over to Ridley. Brooke finds Frisch in the corner. And it looks like we got it. kicking there. Is that on Feesby, number 32? I believe so. Remember, folks, Paige Frisch has been in Fuego, 5 of 8 from beyond the arc. Quick pass into Brooke Ridley. She had her shot blocked by the 6 foot 2 inch Tiffany Petro. Brooks used to block in the shots. She says, hey, that's, that's what I do. Johnny Jackson, fall away jumper, no good. Rebounded and put back by Feesby. Good looking play by number 32, and she gets her first bucket of the game. Now Grace is within 13. Sharon, three. Skip pass goes over to Brooke Ridley. Looking at Petro who had that block. Three point by Paige Frisch. Long rebound by Kayla Bear. I'll tell you, you get, every, you get excited every time Paige Frisch touches the ball right now because you know she can hit it. She's been hot this game. She's feeling it. Skylar Sharon walled off, kicks out to Bree. Reinhardt for a three, just misses. Rebounded by Fickle, almost rebound by Fickle. As Brooke Ridley was able to take it away, Brooke has been fighting all game long in the block. She got the bucket, will head to the free throw line looking for the and one. As Janelle Wilson in for three, Reinhardt. Eighteen points for Brooke. Gets her nineteen. Cougars up seventy-one, fifty-five. We're approaching eight minutes left to play in this game. As Frisch and Shern applied some pressure in the backcourt. Number forty, Petro, back out to Jackson, who lost her dribble. Skylar nearly came up with the steal on Fickle. Back out to Johnny's, all alone for a three. As it rims in. Johnny Jackson now four of seven from beyond the arc. She's eight of 21 from the field with 20 points. Uh, her 20 points is a game high, one point better than Brooke Ridley's 19. Good looking crowd here at the hut. 
can't really see it on the camera. Across the way, normally that's where a lot of the students um, sit. Obviously, the students will start school on Monday, so they're not yet back on campus. But on the near side bleachers, it's pretty full. Grace travels very well, and uh, it stands are pretty full here on our side. Carrington Thompson on the camera. Defensive end for the football team. Definitely a player you want to come out and see. Had a few tackles behind the line of scrimmage this year and limited play in the sophomore season. Maybe the most impressive play Carrington was the uh, blocked pass against St. X. You just don't see that very often, but uh, it was a pretty play. I know I was right there by the field goal, so it looked good on my camera. Good looking play there, Carrington. I know he's gonna be very excited along with the rest of us for the 2014 season. And folks, what a special day tomorrow is gonna to be as we head down to Indianapolis, uh, the Westin Hotel, as Coach D is going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. He's the NAIA's winning as football coach. It's a very special, special honor. No one more deserving than Coach Donnelly. Good play there by Feesby, knocking that pass into the backcourt. Paige Frisch was on it, getting back there to corral that pass. We have 11 seconds left on the shot clock. Skylar Sheridan from the corner. Petro's out there. Frisch for three off the front of the iron. Rebounded by John H. Jackson as Caleb Bear was fighting with Morris for that board. Nice job by Skylar Sherman working that ball free. Ridley, no look pass. Beautiful feed to Janelle Wilson. Oh, showtime here at the hut. Sherman's going to get the assist. Janelle finished. That was pretty. Started with the no look by Brooke Ridley. Actually started with the good defense by Skylar Sherman knocking the ball free and Brooke Ridley. Picking up the loose ball. Petro from 16, no good. Rebounded by Fickle. Ooh, a little up and under is no good by Fickle. Looked pretty, though. Off the glass, no good by Fickle. Rebounded by Kayla Bear. Pass goes over to Skylar Shern, all alone. Connects. Skylar now with 11 points in this game. Morris working against Frisch. Darian Morris, freshman. And we got to travel in the lane. Looks like she was expecting some contact from Frisch as Frisch continued to retreat towards the bucket. Just kind of lost her uh, footing there. Did Morris. 6.15. Left pass goes over to Skylar Schoen. Skylar, ooh, that was tough as Petra at six foot two. Um, expecting her to work her way up there with Skylar Shern, or excuse me, Brooke Ridley for the conference best blockers. Blocks per game, Brooke Ridley at 1.59. Petra's already got two in this game. Johnny Jackson between the legs, back out to Fickle. Down low to Feasby, Feasley walled off by Janelle Wilson. Petra's jumper, no good. Rebounded by Bear. Janelle Wilson now in transition. And we're going to call the charge on Janelle. As Johnny's was able to get back and get her feet planted. Looks like number 24, Patton, back into the lineup for Feesby. Schaefer in for Petra. Petro has proved to be a, a good defender there in the low post. Schaefer coming in for her. Schaefer has proved to be a great rebounder and a good offensive threat for Coach Blum. That is Pat, or Morris, excuse me, over to Kaufman. Kaufman looking for Patton. Patton takes the handoff and wow, gets the lay in, splitting defenders. Patton now with 10 points in this game. Skylar Schoen lost control of the ball a little bit, but was able to stick with it. Pass to Paige Frisch as she drives high off the glass. She was fouled and went ahead to the free throw line for two. Hey, 
Paige Frisch at the free throw line entering this game. She is a 58% free throw shooter, hitting seven of 12. Does hit her first. Paige Frisch, five of 10 from the field, five of nine from beyond the arc, one rebound, two assists. She now has 16 points in this game, and that ball, look, to go off the foot of Morris. So St. Francis will retain possession. Brooke Ridley out to Taylor Wilson. Paige Frisch is able to get right past Johnny's Jackson. She went for the steal. Kaufman with the rebound as Frisch could not connect on the lay -in. Morris working against Frisch from the wing, driving the lane, stops, pops from 10 feet, no good, rebounded by Patton. Blocked by Brooke Ridley. Nice outlet pass to Taylor Wilson as Johnny's Jackson hustles back. Laying no good, rebounded by Shern. Shern, eight footer is good. Schuyler now with 13 points in this game. From the wing, it's Patton. Down to Kaufman. Kaufman working against Brooke Ridley. No good. Rebounded by Jessica Harrison. Skyler Shern working against Morris. Looks like Grace now in a man to man defense. Spent the majority of this game in the 3 2 zone. As Shern drives hard to the bucket. Good help defense by Schaefer. Possession's going to go to Grace. Bryant back into the game for Grace. Wilson. For St. Francis. And number four, Heather House, a sophomore from Auburn, Indiana, Garrett High School, entering the game for Grace. Number 11 is Bryant. And the Jackson being guarded by Skyler Sherman. Schaefer just inside the arc, being guarded by Jessica Harrison. Long jumper, no good. Rebounded by Taylor Wilson. Taylor double team out to Ridley. Ridley's going to give it back to Taylor. Skylar Shern as her and Brooke crisscross the top of the key. Janelle Wilson driving baseline, looking to kick it back out. Does up top to Skylar Shern. Shern double team now, Jackson and Bryant. Finds Janelle Wilson all alone. Good feet underneath Brooke Ridley. She's fouled by Kaufman. Janelle had a wide open three-point look. But at the time, Ridley was all alone under the bucket. Kaufman doing a good job of retreating back. Brooke is 5-5 five five from the free throw line in this game. 5-6. She's also 7 of 12 from the field. Second is good. That's Ridley's 20th point. Ties Jackson with the game high. Bryant picks up her dribble. Wilson with the defense. Looked like that was a block by Brooke Ridley. Skyler Shern. House and Bryant with the D. Skyler down low to Janelle Wilson, finds a wide open. Ridley kicks it back out to Janelle. Janelle back out to Brooke. Baseline jumper from 15, no good. Loose ball, they're gonna get possession to Lancers. So Bryant bringing it up as we have two and a half minutes left to play in this game. Schaefer working against Harrison. Schaefer, nice move in the paint, but Brooke Ridley was there at the help defense to knock it away. Good block by Brooke. Skyler Shern working against Bryant. Double team, finds Taylor Wilson all alone for three. That was long. 
Taylor's already hit one three-pointer in this game. She's got three points. Kaufman, wow, drives right past her defender and finishes with the lay-in. That's her ninth point of game. Looks like Emily Montgomery to check back in for St. Francis. Janelle Wilson over to Taylor Wilson. Pass was just a little bit outside, but Taylor doing a good job of keeping it in. Brooke Ridley coming up from the corner, hands it off to Skylar Schoen. Over to Janelle Wilson. Jessica Harrison, 12-footer, no good. Harrison nearly got her own rebound, but it looks like they're gonna call, call a foul on, is that Brooke? Nice sportsmanship there by the Lady Lancers. Schaefer, Kaufman, and House all extending a hand to help Brooke off the floor. That's what you like to see. Schaefer is at the line for the one and one. She's three or four from the free throw line in this game with nine points. Hits her first off the back of the iron. Second is good as well, nothing but net. To Brooke Ridley to take the ball out for the Lady Cougars being guarded by Kaufman. Brooke's pass was tipped. I think it was by Kaufman, tipped out of bounds. So we'll reset here. One second ticked off the shot clock. Brooke gets it into Kayla Bear. Oh uh, no, Bear's pass goes right to John Neese. Elbow jumper, no good. And Kayla Bear is able to rip it away from Kaufman. Gets it out to Skylar Sherman. Montgomery all alone. And we pump fake. Did not convert from three feet out. Kaufman was there at the board. John Neese Jackson bringing it up. Jackson's got that little crow hop there when she hits the top of the key. Bryant for three, sinks it. That pulls Grace to within 12. Bryant now with 10 points. Pass goes to Kayla Bear. Strong, rebounded by Montgomery. She's fouled by Kaufman. Emily Montgomery, this is her first trip to the free throw line. She has three points in this game. One of two from around the arc. Hits her first free throw. Emily Montgomery averages 8.4 minutes played. She's played in 13 games this season, entering today, hitting 80% from the free throw line. It's both of those. She has now five points. Cougars up 81-67. Shot no good, rebounded by Schaefer. Put back, no good, rebounded by Kayla Bear as she is slapped on the arm. Foul gonna be called, I believe, on Schaefer, number 42. The front end of the one and one is good. <laughs> Kayla now with nine points in this game. <laughs> Kayla Bear is shooting 83% from the free throw line. You know, this is Kayla's senior season. And she's really taking ownership, not only here on the court, but off the court as well, bringing her teammates together. Uh, can't say enough about Kayla Bear from Leo, Indiana. Does miss her second. Rebounded by Schaefer. So 30 seconds left to play. 
Cougars up by 15. Schaefer kicks it out to Bryant. Lady Lancer's gonna have to get a shot off here. Free Rod Reinhardt with the defense. Bryant for three, long three-pointer, no good. Long rebound by Kaylee Hensley into the lineup for the first time today. Number 22, Jackie Dixie. As Dixie picks up her dribble. Jackie Dixie is a true freshman, 5'11", from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Concordia High School. And Kaylee Hensley is a sophomore, 5'8", inch guard from Wabash High School, Wabash, Indiana. Jackie Dixie at the free throw line. She's played in 10 games, averages 3.9 minutes played. This is her first free throw attempt on the season. It's good. Jackie Dixie, uh, she's an alum of Concordia High School, and they got a big victory last night over Southside. That's the second one rims in, so she now has two points in this game, 4.7 seconds. Cougars up 84, 67, this should do it. Kaufman, long three-pointer, no good. So the Lady Cougars winning 84-67 to extend their record to 18-0 on the season, 6-0 in the Crossroads League. Folks, I'm going to head down for some post-game reactions. Check one, check two. Okay, down on the floor here with Coach Gary Andrews. And Coach Grace came out on fire from beyond the arc and at one point held, I believe, is a 29 to 20 lead but the Cougars were able to withstand the uh, storm and then went into halftime with lead and got the win here today. I just told the kids to keep playing. I mean, Grace got really hot. We were missing some wide open shots, but we were getting good shots. So as long as we kept playing and we could play better defense, I thought we'd be fine, and we did. Coach Paige Frisch got hot there from beyond the arc as well, kind of fighting fire with fire there. I think she was five of five from one point, but she ended up with 15 points. Uh, the freshman looked really good tonight. She had been shooting the ball really well in practice. And she can really shoot the ball, so, you know, teams are sagging off of us because they can't guard us man-to-man. -man. That's going to give Paige some opportunities from the three-point line. Coach, you're extending your record, 18-0 star. How's that feel? I'm excited. We just take it one game at a time, and we'll keep doing the same. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, Coach. Thank you. And now down here with true freshman Paige Frisch. And Paige, wow, what a second half you had from beyond the arc. What was going through your mind when all those shots were falling down? I don't know. I just said focus, follow through, and I hope they go in. Well, 15 points today. Uh, as a true freshman here from the get-go, coaches felt comfortable putting you into the lineup, and now you started today. But uh, how's that feel? How's your confidence growing as the season's going on? Um, to know that he has that much like support with me and to know he can put me in the game and I can do good, that helps a lot. And it just makes my confidence go way up. Absolutely. And now the Cougars are record 18-0 start to the season. How's it feel being a part of that? Obviously, it's a collective team effort. Amazing. We're a great team, and everyone has fun with it, and we just want to keep winning. Congratulations on today's game, Thanks. Paige Frisch. Paige had 15 points. Folks, stick around at 3 o'clock. We will have the tip-off of the men's game about 30 minutes away. Thank you. <laughs> 